You must work to passionately to create mutually beneficial relationships. Mutually beneficial. Now, this is a life philosophy. I encourage you to take it into your family relationships, but I also encourage you not to because your parents will like write me hate mail. But for me, this is the bad deal. But you know, if you're, does anyone here have like a family member you talk to all the time and they're just negative all the time? Like, you know what I mean? Totally bring you down. Like, how's your college? That's great. It's great for me to poop on. You know? How are you? Great, great. I'm glad. You look ugly today, by the way. You know? And they're sarcastic to be funny, but it's not funny because that's how they are. You know what I mean? They're always just like, or you'll bring home your grades, and you're like, Mom, I got straight A's. Freaking awesome. And your brother's like, oh, you're a jerk. You know? Because you cheated and everything. I hate you. You know? That guy. Well, you can't engage in a non-mutually beneficial relationship because it's not sustainable. You feel me? Why do you guys think that Microsoft and Dell had a great relationship? Anybody? Microsoft and Dell? You're reading my funny factoids up there? <laughs> hey, Microsoft and Dell? Anybody know why they had a great relationship? Was it? What's that? They needed each other. Mutually beneficial, right? Bill Gates says, I've got this great software, but you know what? No one's going to want it unless they own a PC, right? And the PC people say, no one wants a PC unless there's an operating system on it, right? Mutually beneficial, that's the deal. So I want you guys to real quick on your paper, draw a circle, draw a circle, and I want you to put the name or the, the, the kind of business that you want to have in the center of the circle, okay? Big circle, the kind of business you want in the center of the circle. Yeah, ten, minutes. 10 minutes? Okay, I'll go fast. Okay? Now, around the perimeter of it, write any businesses related to your business. So my business is a DJ, what's related to me? Photographers, florist, cake, home, real estate, you've got somebody who does interior decorating, you've got new home builders, you've got tile guys, you've got landscapers, okay? Right, anything related around it. That's who you want a mutually beneficial relationship with. That's who you want to form those relationships with, okay? Only people that have the power to benefit you back. You feel me? So even though I like you and you like me, it probably wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for us to get together and network all the time because I don't know how many people I could send you that were looking for new homes. But maybe I could. Maybe they're brides and grooms. They just got married. Now we have an avenue. I don't know. But you only want to have mutually beneficial with people that have the ability to affect you positively. So it wouldn't make a lot of sense for you guys to go network with like, you know, little John, little Wayne or something. You know what I mean? It wouldn't make a lot of sense. It might be fun, but it might be good. Okay. Final thing is as you guys are learning and earning, I want you to take a, 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 that, that circle you have, that circle you have, okay? The big circle you just drew, and I want you to make the peace sign in it. The peace sign, but kind of leave out the center one. You know how it goes down, and then you got the two? Leave out that center. So break it into thirds, okay? Break it into thirds, okay? Remember a big, big circle with the thirds? Break it into thirds. And I want you to write in one third of the pie, write learn, and then write one through 25. One through 25, and learn in one part of the pie. 26 through 50, write earn, okay? And then 51 through death, write return. Okay? And that's what you do. And if you follow that cycle, there's a Jewish guy I know, he started Vidal Sassoon, very wealthy, and a bunch of people I know who have this philosophy. If you learn, earn, return, spend the first 25 years learning, the next 25 earning, the next 25 returning, you'll have a pretty balanced life and it works out well for you. Problem is when you're 50 and you're just now learning, bad deal, okay? If you're trying to return when you're 25, bad deal as well. So there we go. But I just want to encourage you guys that uh, uh, we only are going to live one time. And there's no really need to go through life over-medicated on pharmaceutical stuff to compensate for personality disorders and not do what you want to do. Okay? You know, I'm kind of like ADD. That's my problem. ADD. Woo! Awesome. Okay? But, you know, I can't just like complain about it. Uh, I used to stutter. Couldn't talk very well. Uh, I can't play musical instruments, but I want to. Uh, there's certain things I can't do. I'm horrible at math. You know, I can't complain about it. I just got to get off my butt and do something. I want to encourage all you guys in here, you don't have to wait till you graduate to do something big. You can start something big today, but just take the time out to think about it and uh, really begin to formulate those plans today. I just wrote yeah. down a blah, 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 and what I learned with each go round. Think and grow rich is the Bible of business. You can do a play and just get up in this book about entrepreneurs, about dreams.
is about to get in yours If your mind can't conceive it And you can't believe it If you got the passion Then you can achieve it Achieve your goals now Start today We're not guaranteed anything So don't delay it. Learn early Turn is how the cycle goes And start today Put down those not shows And make your life epic Get your show on the road Weeks also mediocre Is not the way to go